Yeah, I'd just like to say that it, how important it is really to, to, to even set goals, to just be thinking about it. I mean, you may not have a sort of bullet point list of I want to accomplish X, Y, and Z and you know, check it off while you're abroad, but um, oftentimes I think students just have the idea that I'm going to go there, I'll learn the language, I'll be fluent, I'll be perfect in the language, and then you can really set yourself up for disappointment when that doesn't happen. One of the things we've noticed in language learning is if the, if the person learning a language has very realistic goals, whether it be learning language here in a classroom or going abroad, that they're going to be much happier along the way with, uh, with the success of their language learning and they're going to continue and push themselves even more. So it's really important to understand from the beginning what you're going to do and maybe what you're not going to do with the language um, as you go abroad. So since every language is a little different, I suggest that you maybe talk to faculty or students um, who have come back.